episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. This time around, I was supposed to be reviewing Old Tom with Ginger, along with Andy and Tim, but uh, due to time constraints, that didn't end up happening. So, uh, who knows when I will actually do the uh, Old Tom with Ginger review. Anyway, I'm going to resume reviewing all these great beers that Jez recently sent me. So, today, it's uh, Big Eye IPA, 6.8% alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled by the Ballast Point Brewing Company of San Diego, California. All right, what more can I tell you about Big Eye IPA? Well, uh, I've never had it before. I know that it's uh, got some pretty good reviews uh, out there on the internet, so uh, I'm very keen to try it. So, uh, I think it's been a while since I've done an IPA, so uh, yeah, without further ado, I think I shall uh, crack it open and uh, make an assessment of it. Okay, so grab a uh, footed beer glass here and uh, pour it out. Alright, so let's make an assessment uh, of the appearance, shall we? Well, uh, the appearance is a very dark amber colour uh, with a fair bit of carbonation present. Um, it's somewhat hazy, um, but yeah, I can't really see any uh, particulate matter like floating around there when I have a look at it. Uh, yeah, it's got... Uh, a little under two fingers of uh, off-white head, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it certainly looks uh, very good from here. Anyway, on to the uh, aroma. Well, I'm picking up some citrus and some tropical fruits, and there's a little bit of malt present there too, but the dominant uh, smell is definitely, uh, yeah, that citrus and that tropical fruit. Anyway, uh, on to the taste test. Cheers to you all, and a big cheers to Jez for sending this to me. Alright, well, um, up front, you know, it's very malty. I would say, um, yeah, some really rich sort of caramelly malts, in fact. Um, I'm actually quite surprised by how malty this is. Um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely uh, some hot bitterness there in the back, um, yeah, I mean, uh, it's not quite uh, the hop explosion I was expecting, but definitely, um, you know, I can taste like, uh, you know, sort of pineapple and passion fruit um, yeah, in the back, and um, definitely got a very dry, sour finish to it as well, which is uh, quite interesting. But, um, yeah, definitely has uh, a surprising malt presence. Anyhow, I do need to have another gulp. Ooh. This is a very uh, flavorful beer, without a doubt. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Um, it's going down very nicely. Uh, and what would I say in terms of its uh, drinkability? Well, it's uh, very drinkable and also very sessionable, but uh, you will have to watch it. Uh, it is, uh, you know, 6.8% uh, alcohol by volume, so it will, uh, you know, creep up on you after a few. Uh, what would I give it in terms of a score out of 10? Well, I do need to have another gulp. I definitely suggest checking this out if you can get your hands on it. You'll be most impressed. What would I give it in terms of a score out of 10? I think it's deserving of a 9 out of 10. It doesn't quite blow my mind, but it's a very solid IPA, without a doubt. Anyway, that does bring us to the end of yet another Swill and Grog beer review. So, until next time, fare thee well, all.